I've been writing since the mid-1970s. I've been published since the mid-1970s. That's a lot of years. I've never once started a story and said, this is going to be easy. Being Yankees editor, I've been here since 1979. I can't think of anyone who, who was more fortunate because when I arrived at Yankee, Judson D. Hale, who was the um, nephew of the Yankees founder, was the editor. And what he said to me was, go anywhere you want, do anything you need to do, just bring me back stories. And then when I came here as an editor, my assignment not only was to keep writing stories, but to find other writers. And something that has continued for almost 34 years now is the joy of finding a writer who has never been published, either published, period, or especially published in Yankee. I started something at Yankee called New Voices, where any writer who had never been published before would send in a nonfiction story and then we would um, pay a thousand dollars and publish it in Yankee. That gave me great, great satisfaction. As, as much as I love going out to do stories, when you find talent and you bring it into the magazine, that can be equally as satisfying. It all starts with curiosity. What I've always told students is, I can't give you curiosity, but what I hope to do is to kind of reawaken your curiosity. I, I have crawled in a bear's den with a bear biologist during hibernation. And I did that because I was just really curious. What does a bear den smell like? Every, you know, what does it feel like to, to, to wrap your arms around um, a bear as you're just kind of bringing it out of the bear den? And I love entering those worlds. I can't think of anything more enticing as a nonfiction writer as to leave your own world, which I know about. I know what, who, who I am and what I do, and to enter someone else's world. I often compare it with um, ice sculpture. You know, the, the ice sculpture starts with a huge block of ice, and then over time, the ice sculpture, he's with a, usually with a chainsaw and then chisels, that ice is going away, going away, and what's being left is the essence of the, whatever the, the shape that the sculptor uh, wants to make. I, just, I kind of look at my, what I do the same way. I just keep taking away, taking away. I look for quotes that reveal. You wish you could say, here's a way to do it, like the way you can give a recipe. You wish it could be that easy with writing. It's not, but that is why besides great courage, I think writers need courage to keep going. I think they need perseverance and that curiosity, all that. They also need the belief that they're gonna end up doing it.